Maybe it's cause we are Got time and we're wasted Got no plans for the night I love how you look at me So this is gonna be the easiest tutorial ever. I'm only using three eyeshadows and they're all from this Tarte Tartlet palette. This is a MAC 217 brush and I'm taking this dark brown eyeshadow called Multitasker and that's actually just going to go in my crease in sort of a half moon or like a half circle shape. I'm starting out kind of in the middle of my crease and then working my way downwards toward the outer corners of my eyes. When I'm in a rush, this is the look that I go for. It's super quick and easy but it still looks glam. Next, I'm just taking my bronzer. This is Dark Tan by MAC and a fluffy brush like this. I just use a MAC 224 blending brush to kind of buff out all the darker eyeshadow that I've applied. I like to really bring that eyeshadow up all the way to the inner part of the brows. The next eyeshadow that I'm using is called Force of Nature and it has like a cool tone to it. So I'm only applying this on the inner third of my lids and you can see it's just like a matte kind of a vanilla colored eyeshadow. If you don't have this palette, you can always use any dark brown eyeshadow that you have. You can use your bronzer as your transition color and then for this color, you can actually use a face powder or any pressed powder. So next I'm using Bombshell, which is the darkest brown in this palette. I'm actually gonna use a small brush to use this as like an eyeliner. This is like the fastest way you can get like a winged eyeliner type of look without actually having to spend so much time using eyeliner. And now I'm just using a pencil brush to buff it all out. So I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeliner. This is Benefit's Roller Liner. It's so nice, super dark, and I'm just keeping the thinnest line on the outer half of my eyes. I'm not even creating like a wing or anything, just using this because when I apply my lashes, I want them to have a dark base. For lashes, I'm gonna use the same ones that I used in my last tutorial. These are really nice, they're by Kiss Cosmetics. I'm gonna tight line a little bit. This is Max Feline Eye Pencil. And oh my god, this looks so creepy, but I had to show you guys. All it is is lining like your upper water line, so that's called tight lining. And then I'm also gonna get the inner corners. This just makes your lashes like not have any gaps. And once your lash glue dries, I recommend going over it with some more eyeliner just to get any like glue or spots or anything like that that are on the base of the lash. And once these dry, just go ahead and do mascara. I'm gonna use Lancome's Miss Your Big. I feel like I lost a little bit of that smokiness on the outer corners. So I'm gonna go back in with like a smaller angled brush and I'm gonna just add that right over. And then with a blending brush, I'm gonna kind of go over that eyeshadow a little bit and bring it back into the crease. For underneath my eyes, I'm gonna first go in with that same bronzer. And if you want to elongate your eyes a little bit, you can actually drag the eyeshadow a little bit upwards towards your temples. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil. It's really for your eyebrows, but I actually like to use it inside my waterline. And then I'm taking like a grayish charcoal pencil by Stila and I'm gonna put that on the outer portions. So I'm just adding it to the outer and inner third of my eyes, leaving the center blank with that concealer shade. This just gives your eyes more of a doll-like effect and makes them look more open. You can use black for this as well, but I think the gray or lighter brown looks better. And that's it for the eyes, super simple. Next, I'm gonna move on to my lips. I'm using Quark Lip Liner by MAC. It's a super dark brown color. I love using dark brown lip liners regardless of the color lipstick I'm gonna wear. I lined my lips a little bit differently this time. I overlined my cupid's bow and I kept the lip liner on the sides a little bit narrow just because I wanted to give that pouty look. Um, I know it's like that Instagram trend or whatever. And then I always like to fill in the outer corners of my lips a little bit. This adds to that pout. And next with a brush like this, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. For lipstick, I'm gonna use a lip paint by Tarte Cosmetics. This is just like a sample one that I got from Sephora, but it's a cute color. I'm 
to add a little bit of blush. This one is Peach by NYX. I like how this brush is like perfectly shaped. I'm gonna get a bunch of these because they're so good for like bronzer, blush, and all that. I don't want to overdo the highlighter, just a little bit. And of course, the highlighter that I'm using is Becca's Champagne Pop. Guys, next time you're in a rush, give this look a try. I think it'll look amazing on you. If you like this video, hit like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit that notifications bell so you're notified of future tutorials and follow at Beauty by Binny on Instagram. Love you. Mwah.